Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering a specific installation type for Microsoft Office on Mac, and that is the .pkg installation method. If you would like this method and purchase Office from Indigo Software, we will provide you with a direct download link for the .pkg file. Assuming you purchase it elsewhere, you can still follow along with this tutorial, and where you get the installation file will depend on your vendor. Please note that you'll want to have your product key ready before starting with this process. Now, before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, one benefit to these installation files is that they can quickly and easily be copied to an external media, such as a USB drive or an external drive, etc. All right, so moving into the tutorial, our very first step is to uninstall the existing Office applications on our computer. We can do that by navigating to Finder and then Applications. And then once we're in the Applications folder, we're simply going to scroll over to where the Office applications are. OneNote and Defender are fine to stay, everything else has to go. So I'll right click on each application and click move to trash, and then we'll need our computer login password to do that. Now I'm just gonna click and then hold command and select the rest of the applications, right click, move to trash, enter the password and hit enter. All right, and now to ensure that we've fully uninstalled everything correctly, I'm gonna type office in the spotlight, make sure no applications come up. All right, I'll go back to finder and I'll search office as well and I'll make sure no applications come up. Any of your files like the .docs or PDFs or anything like that are okay to stay as well. All right, once we have finished uninstalling Office, our next step is actually go to setup.office.com and this is where we're going to pre-activate our software. First, sign in or create an account and use the email address that you want your software to be tied to. In this case, it'll be my email here, or if you already purchased your key, then it'll be that email and just make sure it's that one. All right, now I've already activated Office several times on my account, so I'm not actually going to enter a product key here. But when you do, you'll enter the product key, you'll follow the prompts, and then as soon as you're done working your way through the prompts, go ahead and come back to this video. All right, so after you've completed the product key portion, it's now time to move on to the .pkg. Again, make sure that Office as well as 365 are fully uninstalled first, as that is a mandatory requisite. All right, so we'll go ahead and double click the .pkg installer and we'll click continue all the way through. Agree to any pop-ups and we'll click install. Here we need our computer sign in password once again and we'll click install software. We'll let this load and we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, so the installation was successful and I'll go ahead and close this and I'll move the installer to the trash. All right, Microsoft is running its auto update but while it's happening, let's go ahead and do the activation process. So in my apps, I'm gonna open, let's say Excel or Word. I think I'm fine with Word. And at this point, all we have to do is actually just sign into our Microsoft account, which is pre-linked with that key from the steps that we did earlier. All right, so the final step is to actually just activate our software. I'm gonna double click Word and open it up. And all we have to do for the final part of activation is actually just sign into our Microsoft account. By signing in, since we linked our product key in the beginning of the video, you will be fully activated in all of your Office apps. Now, before we wrap it up, we wanted to talk quickly about reinstallation. If you find yourself needing to reinstall Office, we have videos specifically for that process, and you can, you can watch that right here. If you find yourself needing to reinstall from the .pkg file that we used in this video, the last and final step would be this. And all we would have to do is log in again to the same Microsoft account used in our Office purchase. Now, here's a quick bonus tip if you're not sure what Office account you used. If you're trying to determine what Microsoft account your key is tied to, head back to setup.office.com like we did in the beginning of this video, enter your product key from any Microsoft account, and it'll show you the account that is associated with that key. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Office or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video titles you may have for us. And as always, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.